Canelo here. Yes, there he is. Great performance, give it up for certainly one of the best, young, exciting fighters in the sport, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Give it up for him. Great, 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 great performance. Not just the win, but the statement. Statement. Congratulations. And uh, we have, uh, I have a little uh, gift for, for Canelo, uh, for his new house. Uh, if I could ask uh, Richard Sloan, I've asked Richard Sloan to uh, make a, a little gift to you for Canelo, I just want to announce that Alfredo, uh, I talked to Alfredo in the locker room, uh, he was uh, fine and uh, we just wanted to make sure to get him uh, to the hospital to get checked out. I know Virgil is here, uh, Virgil, do you want to make a few comments first? Okay, why don't you quickly... Uh... First of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate Team um, Canelo for an outstanding performance. He has a lot of talent, and he has a lot of ability, and he has a great future ahead of him. And uh, my hat goes off to his team. It's very disappointing. Um, I, I thought it was a very tough, tough fight for Alfredo. And um, it's very tough for me also um, to, to witness uh, him being in a fight like that because I, I really care about him as an individual. Uh, as far as the stoppage is concerned, um, I am somewhat disappointed, and the reason why is is because I informed Tony after the ninth round, I believe, that if Canelo landed two or three punches in a combination, that I personally would stop the fight. And I informed the doctor also that if he put two to three punches together on him, that I would stop the fight. Uh, because I felt at that time, even though the young man was showing his skill, I felt that his hands were starting to come down. Uh, he was on his back foot at the time. He, uh, he was, you know, starting to put himself in a position where it gave Alfredo an opportunity. And basically that's what we needed. We needed a window of opportunity. So we didn't want to deny him that. So it is somewhat disappointing that uh, he didn't get the opportunity. But my hat goes off to him. I have nothing negative to say. Uh, it was uh, uh, a good fight. I'm, I'm hoping uh, that Alfredo uh, can, you know, improve somewhat. Um, it's very difficult to see uh, any fighter go through what he went through uh, tonight. And um, he's going to the hospital. We want to make sure that he's all right and uh, will be considering his future and what direction he'll be going in. But at the same time, I want to give Team Pinnell uh, my hat, give him my congratulations and best uh, wishes in the future. Thank you. We're going to get Pinnell up now that you guys can ask questions. Please give a big hand for the superstar from Mexico, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Quiero agradecerles a todos el apoyo que me brindan en cada una de, de mis peleas. Well, first of all, I want to thank you all for all the support that you give me in every one of my fights. Estoy muy agradecido. Estoy muy agradecido con Dios que nos dejó bajar y en el cuadrilátero. I am very grateful. I'm very grateful to God who let us come down from the ring without any injuries. Carlos. Y, <laughs> y La, la función se llamaba o la estaban promocionando eh, el Canelo está de vuelta el Canelo nunca se ha ido y aquí sigue and the promotion was the return of Canelo but let me tell you Canelo has never been gone he's still here 
Gracias, gracias a todos nuevamente. Agradecerles el apoyo que me brindan en cada una de mis peleas otra vez y, y siguen muchas más. And once again, I want to thank you all for the support you give me in every single one of my fights and let you know there's many more to come. No, bueno, eh, él es un guerrero, mi respeto es para él, es un guerrero arriba del cuadrilátero, es un peleador eh, con mucho corazón y pues simplemente estaba haciendo mi trabajo, yo desde un principio, desde antes de la pelea se los dije, que podía pelear con él ya sea boxeando o, o al tú por tú y, y fue lo que hice. The question was, did you feel your opponent, Alfredo Angulo, at any moment weakened or, or, or weak? And he says, no, I told you from the beginning. He's a strong fighter, he's a great warrior, he comes to fight. But I did also tell you I was ready to stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe. I was ready to box, I was ready to do whatever it took to win. Canelo, a couple quick questions for you. Number one, you landed that right hand so often and so hard. Did you see something on film when you watched it that told you that punch would be available for you? Pues ya había visto muchas, eh, varias peleas del de perro Angulo. Eh, trabajamos para él, eh, trabajamos para su estilo, trabajamos para conectarle los golpes que le conectamos. Y sí, efectivamente, eh, vimos que, que entraba a la derecha mucho y la trabajamos para, para conectarla. No, well, I knew, I knew, obviously we did our homework. That was part of, you know, training. We saw what we had in front of us. We knew his style. We knew what we had to do, and that was part of the plan that we, what we did in training camp. Uh, we knew the right hand would connect often, and obviously we, the punches that we threw were punches we knew would connect. Do you feel any kind of disappointment in a way that if you had fought like this against Floyd, that maybe you might have had a better performance against Floyd? You know, you, you fought so well tonight, so aggressively. Do you think if you had done that against Floyd, it might have been different? I mean, as es totalmente diferente los estilos de, de Alfredo y de Floyd. Floyd es un, un peleador inteligente que se mueve, que si gana las peleas con tres golpes y lo demás es moviéndose, él no le importa, solamente le importa ganar. Eh, son muy diferentes los estilos. Quise hacer muchas cosas, no pude a lo mejor. Eh, eh, tanta presión que tenía, lo que sea, no la pude hacer y eso ya está en el pasado. Este es, el, el momento es este. Oh, that's two different styles. I mean, you, you're talking two different fighters, two different styles. And, you know, uh, I tried to do many things in that fight. I couldn't. That's in the past. It stays in the past. And right now is the moment and the future. Canelo, over here. Canelo, congratulations on a great win. Uh, you came out a lot faster than you have in other fights. You were throwing a lot of big shots right from the start. Was that the game plan to get his respect very early? Bueno, es, es un plan que tenemos siempre. Siempre tenemos un plan todos los peleadores. Cuando se hace una preparación, siempre se hace un plan. Pero cuando te subes al cuadrilátero y empieza el primer round, a veces cambia todo y solamente hice lo que me convenía en la, en la pelea y desde el primer round eh, pude, pude conectarle mis pintas y fue lo que me funcionó en toda la pelea. No, you always go into a fight with a plan. The plan starts at camp, you start preparing for it. But once the first bell rings, obviously the plan can change. We went in there, did what we had to do, faint, made the movements and connected, and that's where it started. And, and the second question I had is, you know, a lot of people, we heard the fans that were really upset over the stoppage. Uh, what were his thoughts on the stoppage, and did he think it should have been stopped any sooner? Bueno, yo hice mi trabajo, estaba haciendo mi trabajo, estaba ahí peleando. Eh, yo sinceramente siento que Alfredo hubiera agotado eh, los 12 asaltos, quizás no, todo en una pelea todo puede cambiar de un momento a otro, pero yo hice mi trabajo y el referee hizo su trabajo y no se le puede hacer nada a eso. No, you know, I, I went in there to do my, my, my job, and I did my job. Alfredo is a great warrior, a tremendous fighter. Uh, I think he could have gone the 12 rounds, or you gotta think also you gotta remember that a fight can change like that on one punch. Anything can happen. The referee did his job, I did my job.
Finale, Finale, there were times it seemed like you you stayed in there and absorbed the punishment that you were getting from him instead of backing out, almost like you were trying to prove a point to the crowd and to the people that were watching of your of your arm and your toughness. Is that what was going on? Este, no, me quedaba ahí porque yo sabía que Alfredo es un peleador que aguanta, que pega, que tiene, o lo que, lo que se veía y lo que se decía, pues que tenía la, la mano pesada y varios peleadores decían que, que pues traía piedras en las manos y, y sinceramente yo sabía asimilar sus golpes y los asimilaba y los sentía y no sentía... Eh, tanto su golpeo y por eso me quedaba ahí me quedaba ahí para para estar al, ahora sí como la carterera se llama no mano mano no you know uh, it's been said everybody's you know we're saying talking about Alfredo's punching power how strong he is and I stayed in there I boxed I, I took his punches I took him well and then that's when I said you know what I'm staying in here I'm gonna go toe to toe just like Ricard said and uh, Richard had talked about a possible July date for you. Uh, have you thought about what you want to do next? And can you fight in July? Is that something you want to do? No, 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 no. No espero por nadie. No espero por nadie. Yo estoy haciendo mi, mi, mis peleas y no voy a esperar por nadie. Si hay que pelear en julio, vamos a ver. Y, y, y ver qué es lo mejor para la gente, como ofrecerles la mejor pelea como, como esta. No, I'm not gonna wait from nobody. I, I got my plans. Look, it's in July, and I'm ready to fight. And you know, my main thing is, I'm young and I want to entertain. I want to give the best fights possible. Saul, si viste a al perro lento y si le sentiste el el golpe, o sea, si sentiste a a Angulo, lo sentiste lento. Oh. No, so, bueno, él es un peleador Es un peleador eh, Siempre lo ha sido No es un peleador rápido No es un peleador rápido Es un peleador fuerte Que aguanta eh, Y como lo acabo de decir eh, Yo creía que pegaba un poco más Por lo que se decía O lo que se veía Pero quizás Supe asimilar sus golpes Y no lo sentí tanto Pero es un peleador Es un peleador fuerte The question was, did you feel him uh, slow? Did you feel him slow or weak? And he says, no, you know, uh, we knew he's not a fast fighter. Uh, there was a lot of talk about him being a big puncher. I was able to take his punch, and to be honest, I really didn't feel that, that devastating power, right? you know? But I didn't, I mean, we knew his style, he's a warrior. <laughs> Para los fans, para, para nosotros, vamos a sentar a platicar con mi equipo de trabajo. Ahorita, por lo pronto, descansar y después sentarnos a platicar qué es lo que viene. The question is, who would you like to fight next? Well, you know, right now, uh, I want to take a rest, I want to take a break, some time off, and sit down with my team, discuss it with them, and then we'll see what's next. Canelo, you wait. You do team has. No, me siento cómodo. Cuando no hay de título, pues tienes, eh, no es obligatorio pelear en la 154. No, no vas a perder el título. Estás, puedes jugar esa libra y por eso peleamos en 155. No, there was no title at stake, so there's no, uh, you know, concern about losing a belt on the scale. So that's why we fought at 155 because there was no max at 154.